Now you guys may probably know that I've recently restored my BMW and it was an exciting journey spanning across different experts across the industry. People like Adrian Mark, people like Darren Chang, Desmond, Mike Ya. One, performance modifications, suspension tuning experts, detailing experts. And there's only one thing that all of them claims that is in common across the board. A good feel is one that cleans your engine so well that your engines get to perform in its optimum performance all the time. And just like how Shelby Power is my unbeatable choice, these experts too believe in a fuel that truly allows the engine to perform. Join me on this series and we go on a journey of listening to experts. Hi guys, I'm here at Rival Auto again. A few years ago, I came here to rebuild the suspension on my Audi S4 and a few months ago, I also rebuilt the suspension on my BMW 6 Series. These guys are experts when it comes to rebuilding suspension and they now do a lot more than that, all right? And I would like to introduce to you guys my good friend here, Juan. Hi. Hi, Bobby. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Right. Nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you oh, too. Been a long while. Yeah. I think about three years. Yeah, man. Oh. From that small little shop to this. Alhamdulillah. And okay. you're now a very big TikTok star. Alhamdulillah, I don't tell. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. And just now when I step out from the car, mm. I saw his staffs testing the suspension <laughs> by going past these. Yeah. I think you guys are not just a workshop mm -hmm. and I think you're a very analytical person. You do your R&D and all that. Yeah. So today I'm here and I want to find out more on what you sure, do. Sure, can. No problem. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, Bobby, just yes. to share with you, yep. uh, this is our factory in Bukit Permai, Cheras. Yep. So the size of our factory is 22,000 uh, per square feet. Huge. Uh, 22,000. Uh. And I see a lot more hoist, yeah. a lot more cars. Correct. And I believe you do more things now, right? Yeah, because of, okay. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to say thank you to you, Bobby. <laughs> okay. Guys, because of him, he did the video, the Audi S4. S4. The, so yeah. after you posted that video, a lot of customers came to Rival Auto. Then ever since that day, we grow uh, until today. Uh, so uh, basically, our customers, 90% came from social media. Wow. Uh, so from there, we took the appointments and then uh, the customer will come here. Uh, there's a, uh, what you call the, the, the progress and everything started from here. Yeah. Where my supervisor will uh, check the cars, my salesman will uh, entertaining the customer and all that. So from one to another. So I'm going to show to you what is the progress lah. Okay? Let's go. Okay, basically Bobby. Yeah. Firstly, the customer will come and yep. put the car here. Yes. My supervisor will test the car and all that. Yep. Um, so we will, after tested the, the car, the car will be uh, bring on the hoist. Yep. Uh, and then uh, from there, the, all the information, data, such as a foreman, they took one tire, how many screws they open, how many uh, things they open from the car is actually recorded in the system. Ah. We are using iPad and everything. So uh, to ensure after they want to install back, they will follow whatever previously, how many screws they open. So you so, don't lose anything. Yeah, it? correct. Wow. So basically, uh, actually, Per day, we can take up to 20 overcasts. So. 20 overcasts uh, per day? Per day. One thing uh, I want to ask, uh, how, how would someone know uh -huh. that their suspension has a problem okay. before they bring it here? Uh, the noise. Mm. Uh, the noise. Dock, 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 yep. dock. Most of them, they will go to check their alignment first. Uh. So from there, the alignment shop will tell them whether they are under carriage problem and so on. So when uh, the audience saw our uh, social media, they will call straight away and then uh, ah. that's why we have to test the car first. So when you are advised by uh. your workshop or your tyre shop to buy a new absorber, uh -huh. you should come here. <laughs> <laughs> Saves you a lot of money, yeah. like how he helped me. So, so, so basically, uh, customers interested in our 40% stiffer because mm. it gives better handling. When someone bought continental cars, yep. uh, these continental cars have 
a high performance engine, right? Yeah. So they can actually go up to more than 200 km per hour. Mm. But uh, when you bought the car, like uh, for example, W212 Mercedes, mm. you drive the car, when you want to take a corner, reach 140, the car give like a body roll. Ah. You, you cannot take a corner high speed. Yeah. Why is such a uh, very high tech countries uh, did these kind of things when they produce a very uh, powerful engine but the car cannot handle better? Ah. It's really ridiculous, right? So when the uh, oil is thinner, because the absorber also got oil. So oil inside the absorbers got thinner because of our weather in Malaysia. When you touch the road, it's yeah. very hot, right? So that heat from the road is transferred to the tires, the rims, the disc, and it's going to boil the oil inside the absorbers. So the performance of the oil give impact to the compression and rebound, where the rebound is going to be very soft and the compression also is going to be very soft. Mm. So uh, in other words, if you buy a new cars, continental cars, you bring it over to Malaysia, automatically 30 or 40 percent of the performance of the absorbers is going to be reduced. So what you are able to do is to change the oil or? Not only changing oil, putting some additive to actually uh, to make the oil uh, viscosity uh, stable and uh, nitrogen gas, of course inside the absorber got nitrogen gas and then valving piston, revalve and everything. To, uh, Your trade secrets, yeah, basically. Yeah, basically <laughs> like that. Just to increase the, the rebound and compression up to 40%. And that 40% is actually restoring whatever the performance it should be. So as if you're driving your BMW or Mercedes in Malaysia, as if you are driving it is in Germany. Ah. Because these cars all are tested in the cold country. Even the performance-wise and everything, they tested during cold country. Uh, when we did the 40% stiffer, it is actually not to sacrifice your comfort. Ah. Uh, it is meant to be. So what else we have here at your place? So okay, basically after we open all the absorbers, we, the absorbers will be sent to our production room. Production room. Uh, this is very special treatment to you because you know if you go to KFC or any other uh, fast food, <laughs> you want to go to their kitchen. They kitchen. Won't, uh, they won't allow you to go there. But Rebo Auto will bring Bobby inside, wow. and you guys can see what we have in our kitchen. All right. <clears throat> okay, Bobby. Yeah. This is our kitchen. All right. So we have uh, the main uh, place put our machine. Mm. This is what we call lift machine. Lift right? machine. Lift machine. Where we can cut the absorbers, we can fabricate all the metals. Uh, we do threading and all that. Oh. Uh, come, I'll show you. These are all the parts inside the absorbers. We take out everything basically. Basically, yeah, mm. it, the stock absorbers is actually adjustable soft cut. Mm. You can see the spring, we can actually adjust here. Oh, so it's not only that. There's a lot of washers and all that. We can uh, measure and calculate, mm. so we can uh, allow the oil go through the piston for revalve of uh, uh, revalve and do the rebound and compression lah. Uh, okay, you you see that there's a hole over there. Yeah. Once we open the absorbers, the absorbers will be go through inside the hole mm. where the next people inside the next room is going to take over their things mm. to clean everything. Same goes to another rooms and all that. Mm. We, we have stage by stage uh, doing absorbers until we spray the absorbers and the absorbers look like new. Ah. Uh. So these are all the rooms that you guys do yeah. your stuff. La. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six all together. Six rooms. And those on the rack? Those are absorbers on the rack? Those are the what we call ready absorbers for mm. appointments. La. Ready the absorber for the tomorrow or for the next week. Wow. So we can expedite the process. La. Uh, oh, you plan things really well. Eh? So, hey, we, oh, that's your racing car. I can see the reflection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The BMW E30, yeah, 1989. Yeah. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, that is my baby. So the upgrade is done one by one. For your information, the first time we joined with yeah. this car, we got 3 minutes 17 seconds. Now the time is 2 minutes 44. Oh. Every second counts. Every second uh, counts. Same engine. Yeah, I know. This is the sixth engine. The sixth engine already. <laughs> <laughs> All pecha already. <laughs> but I maintain the BMW engine lah. M50 B28 2.8. 2.8. Yeah. It's from the BMW E36. Yeah. Wow. So Bobby is not 
everything about engine power. It's about handling, mm. and the engine power, of course, is the consistency of the power lah. Yeah. Uh, power output. Whether it's able to operate at the optimum all the time, yes, right? Yes, correct. And that means I have to make sure the engine is clean as well. Yes, yes. Right. You know, carbon cleaning is important. The carbon cleaning, yes, of course, I agree with you. <laughs> and one more thing, you see this one? Yeah. This is this only cost me like thirty ringgit the air vent. Oh. This is really functioning. Where the fin, eh, when the when the wind go like that, yep. it will suck all the heat inside. Suck away the heat, right? Correct. So I increase about two horsepower, just from this alone. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Previously we have Riber Auto. Hmm. Now we have Riber Remap. Riber Remap. Actually, Bobby, after we we did the forty percent slipper, they can even hit two hundred kilometer per hour. Yeah. But after that, they they try to press more. No power. Most of my customer ask me whether can I tune the engine ECU. So that's why we created the Rebel Map, and we bought all these tools from Alien Tech. Alien Tech is from Italy. Uh, so I send my partner to London to go and have a training so we can remap uh, most of uh, continental cars. And now we are going for Asian cars and Produa and all that, like Proton also. Because inside the uh, program, they have a lot of templates of the files. Okay, okay. Uh, so from there, uh, we decrypt the files, we uh, retune and uh, encrypt back the files and load it in the ECU. Uh, so it's not necessarily uh, to have better tuning, better performance, mm. then the petrol consumption is higher. Mm. It is actually not. If we tune it uh, in a proper way, mm. uh, better and fine tuning, it will give the more power to the engine. Mm. At the same time, it will give a very good consumption to the engine. Uh, ah. So, a lot of customers came here, remap their cars, and then uh, to get better performance, I asked them to put the 97 RON mm. because we tuned the, the issue using the 97 uh, petrol, yeah. RON 97. <coughs> mm. But uh, normally, we advise them to put the, what we call that, the V power. Ah, V power. Uh, ah. So most of our customers said it really give a lot of difference after we remap and put that uh, V power. The top of the engine power is totally give a lot of difference, like forty to sixty percent different mm, in uh. terms of how it responds. Uh. Yeah. So I think and the cleaning agent, I think it helps us. Yeah. Okay, I just want to share with you this yeah. engine because the uh, BMW E30 is very old. Mm. So before we overhaul the engine. I just wanted to overrev the engine, saja saja. I want to see what will give the impact to the engine. But I put RON 97, uh, the V power actually I put, mm. and mm. then I whack until cow cow. Then I open up the the head. Eh. Yeah, it's very clean. Eh. Even oh. though it is uh, old engine, yeah, it's clean. Uh, all the injectors, everything actually is very clean. Eh. I think uh, the V power really. Clean the the internal uh. Last time one friend also he mm. do the the carbon cleaning, mm -mm. the hydrogen carbon cleaning. Okay. Right? He said, okay, now Bobby, you wait uh. I put a tissue behind your exhaust uh. Uh. <laughs> I went, went, went. Uh. Then he was like, you always pump me power. Uh. <laughs> Why so clean? Uh? <laughs> See, I told you. Uh. All right, all right. So the V power really really clean the engine uh. mm. No wonder the price is. <laughs> <you know? laughs> it's, there's something there uh -uh. It's worth it yeah. So guys, you wanna improve your car's performance, be it by handling or engine performance and all that, come over here to Rival Auto and uh, really meet my good friend Juan. He is so knowledgeable with cars and what made me really respect him, not just cars, I see how he grow his business, how nice he treats his workers, his staffs and all that. He is an awesome gentleman. Thank you, thank you, Bobby. And, and also a TikTok star. Malu <laughs> <laughs> like this. Okay. So, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, man. Oh, no problem, man.